In today's video, we are going to show you step-by-step -step how to add multi-language features to your ASP.NET Core MVC web app. Okay, let's check this out. First, open Visual Studio 2022. Then click Create a new project. Let's select the ASP.NET Core web app, Model View Controller. Then click Next. Now, let's give the project a name. I will use Multi-Languages as the project name. Then click Next. For the framework, I will use .NET 8.0. If you don't have this option available, you can download .NET 8.0 or select any .NET option that is available to you. For authentication type, I will select none because we don't need the login and register features in this project. Now, click Create. The basic project has been created. Now press Ctrl F5 to build and run the project. Now, let's add the translation of this home page. Go back to Visual Studio, right-click on the project file, click Add, select a new folder, and let's create a resources folder. So, in this folder, we'll be storing the translations for the project. Now, right-click on the resources folder, click Add, click New Item, search for Resource, and add the resource file. Now let's set its access modifier to public because we want it to be accessible throughout the whole project. Okay, so this resource file will be storing the default language. We'll use English as the default language. Let's add the text displayed on the home page to this file. The name here is like an ID for the text. The system will use this to access and display its value. It should be unique within this resource file. Okay, now let's add another resource file for the Chinese language. I'll directly copy this default resource file and paste it in the resources folder. Then, rename it to resource.zh.resx. So, the resource file will have a resx file extension. The zh represents the Chinese language. Now let's change the value to Chinese language. Now let's build the project so that the changes are saved and we can use the resource value on the view page. Open the indexed CSHTML file inside the home folder. We're going to replace the text with the resource file's value. Done. Now let's build the project again. Okay, now the project is using the default resource value, which is in English. We need to add a drop-down list here with the languages option so we can change the language of the website. When we create the project just now, it will use Bootstrap CSS by default. I will directly search for the Bootstrap drop-down list to copy the code. Open the layout, CSHTML file. Paste the drop-down list code here. Add a navigation bar to the right. Then add the drop-down menu inside the navigation bar. By default, the website is in English, so display English in this drop-down menu. Then change the drop-down items to the language options, which are English and Chinese, simplified. Now, when we click on these language options, it has no response. We need to write some code to handle this. Open the home controller. Write a method called change language. We will pass in the language parameter to this function. So, the system will use the language code that was passed into this function. After setting the language, we will redirect the user back to the location where it called this function. Now, go back to the layout file and edit the code here to call the change language function when the language option is clicked. Now let's build and run the project. Let's select the Chinese language. The language has not changed. It's because we're missing some code in the program file. Open the program file and add this code here. So, basically, when the system starts to run, this code will try to get the language cookie the user has set just now. Then, the system will use a different language based on the language cookie. Okay, now let's run the project. Let's change the language. It's working now, 
but the text in the drop-down list has not changed. We wanted to show English when English is selected and show Chinese when Chinese is selected. Let's do this now. Open the layout file, add some code here, and if the current culture is E, N, then display English. Otherwise, display Chinese simplified. Let's run the project again. Okay, it's working perfectly. Besides the text here, you can also add translations for the text at the navigation bar. That's all for today's video. If you are too lazy to write the code yourself, you are welcome to download the full source code. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next exciting tutorial or project.